Welcome back to my channel everyone, Street Tips here. What I'm going to work on today is some silver coated copper wire that my jeweler friend had down at his shop. I've also got two videos that I highly recommend everyone take a look at and I will put a link to those videos down in the description of this video. Here's a shot of the two videos that I referenced in the beginning. I will put links to these two videos in the description of this video. I highly recommend that everyone take a look at these two videos. They are by far the best videos on the subject of gold on the entire internet. Here's a look at the wire under magnification. You can see the copper underneath. You can see the thickness of the silver over the copper. And based on what I'm seeing here, I'm guessing uh, between a five and 10% yield of pure silver from this silver plated copper wire. I run the material through my ultrasonic cleaner then we'll rinse it off, get all the soap off of it, and then I'll put it underneath the steamer, blow any junk off of the wire, and then we'll hit it with a hair dryer and evaporate all the moisture off of there. The silver's been cleaned and dried off now. I'm gonna put a beaker up here on the scale, tear it to zero. We're gonna add silver now and get a weight on this so we can calculate what our yield's gonna be. We've got 500, 587.7 grams of silver wire. I'm gonna burn the silver now. I'll burn off any oil or grease or any other stuff that might be on here. You'll notice that the uh, silver turns a different color as we burn it. What we have here is a Ruto Professional Drain Opener. It's concentrated sulfuric acid, 93%. Bought this at Ace Hardware. It's $26 for a gallon jug. I'm gonna add that to the silver now. I'm gonna pour it right on in carefully. And the silver's still hot, I just burnt this. So let's pour this in real slow here. I will cover this up and I'm going to set it up on the heat back here and uh, start heating this up and see if we can get that silver and copper to dissolve. You can see the liquid expanding in the beaker from it being heated here on a 20 minute time lapse. It's been on the heat a little over two hours. And that other burner wasn't heating up any longer, so I replaced it with a separate burner down here. You see, we got the temperature up to 127 Celsius, 260 Fahrenheit. Now that I've got that uh, stronger burner on there, Looks like we're gonna get some boiling action. It takes boiling sulfuric acid to put this metal in solution. This has been on boiling now for about 16 hours or so. And I'm gonna reach down in here with a uh, glass rod. We're gonna check on this uh, wire in here and see what we got. I do not like working 
with boiling sulfuric acid. As you can see, there's still plenty of wire left that needs to uh, dissolve completely before we can go forward. So I'm just going to have to let this continue to, uh, to heat up and dissolve in this concentrated sulfuric acid. We've had the wire boiling in sulfuric acid now for about 28 hours. I turned it off and let it cool down overnight. Let's take a look inside here and see what we got. You can see that the wire is still pretty much intact. And it looks like the uh, silver is dissolved off of the wire, but it's cementing back out on the wire. It's corroding and it's going away, but I've got some muddy precipitate down in the bottom of the beaker down here. I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, so I'm going to stick it back up on the heat and let it continue to boil until we get this to go into solution completely. And then we'll go from there. Stick it back up on the heat and let it continue to boil. This has been on boiling today for about 10 hours now. I think I've got it uh, on the heat now and boiling sulfuric acid for 38 hours. And it's still not fully dissolved. We're gonna get down in there with a glass rod and just kind of check this out now. Okay, let's look inside here. I've got my long gloves on up to my elbows. And what I'm going to do is get in here and just look at the uh, wire down in the bottom of the beaker carefully. This stuff scares me, man. Yeah, the wire is corroding away slowly but surely and I just gotta keep going with it I don't know what that residue is down in the bottom of the beaker it might be silver I don't know but as you can see the wire is slowly corroding away being dissolved by the acid and once we get everything dissolved we'll uh, go to the next step I was out on the patio and looked down and seen this magnificent creature. Uh, you can't see it in the video. He's about three inches long. And as I got in a little closer, I breathed a little breath on him and you'll see he reacts here in a second. But I just had to include this in the video. Absolutely fascinating. Here we go. What we're going to do is pull the solution down. It's been allowed to cool overnight. That's what it looks like. And what I'm going to do here is I've got some filters. These are fiberglass filters. You cannot use paper filters because the sulfuric acid will dissolve them. I'm going to prime the filter with some sulfuric acid, get it to seal up this beaker into the funnel now and filter it out. This solution should contain some silver. What I'm doing here is trying to uh, pull the silver bearing solution off of the wire so that I can put in some fresh sulfuric acid and continue to try to get everything in that beaker to dissolve.
Rinse the filter out now with a little bit of uh, drain cleaner here, sulfuric acid. All right, this is our silver bearing solution. We're going to get this up out of the way. Temporarily over to the side here. And what I've got is some uh, fresh hydrochloric or sulfuric acid, rather. Fresh bottle of it. And we're going to add some sulfuric acid now back to our uh, solids in here. Let's get a close look at that. This is what the solids look like in our beaker quite sure what that's going to be. I'm learning as I go here, as usual. Probably would have been better off just dissolving everything with nitric acid, but I couldn't resist the uh, urge for a new experiment here, trying to use sulfuric acid. All right, this is uh, Ruto Professional Drain Cleaner, concentrated sulfuric acid. I'm going to cover the wire up with some fresh acid now. And we'll stick this back up on the heat. Cover this up. Put it back up on the burner in the back, back here. Turn the heat up on it. And just let this dissolve. Well, a lot has happened since I started this experiment. It's been sitting here for about three weeks. I transferred the solution that was in the filter flask into this large beaker, and I've been adding hydrochloric acid to it. I think I got silver chloride forming down on the bottom down there. What I'm gonna do is add a little bit more hydrochloric acid, make sure I've got all of the silver precipitated out. And you can see by that color that uh, all of the silver chloride has precipitated out of the silver sulfate solution that I put in this beaker. Now what we'll do is uh, pull this beaker down. I've had this on boiling another, uh, another good 10 hours or so. And I'm admitting defeat here. I could not get all of this wire to dissolve. So what I'm gonna do is just pick it out and transfer it into this temporary container. Should just be copper. I wanna get it out of that uh, material that's down on the bottom of this beaker. Uh, the silver, or the solution should have silver in it. So we wanna, you can see the pieces of wire did start to Dissolve. I probably could have kept going, but I just don't have enough time to wait for this to dissolve completely. So I'm going to transfer it into this temporary container. A whole bunch of little pieces of copper. I've got a filter flask set up here. It's got some fiberglass filters in it can't use paper filters or they will dissolve when we put sulfuric acid in them I'm gonna prime the filter here with a little bit of uh, concentrated sulfuric acid all right we're starting to pull a vacuum now we've got the filter to seal up I'm gonna pour our solution in here. This will be silver sulfate. I'm going to pour that right into the filter now and we're going to filter out the silver bearing solution. Get the solids away from the silver bearing solution. And I can't use any water because we're dealing with sulfuric acid here. Uh, if I put water in this solution it will instantly precipitate silver sulfate so I can't use water
Now I'm going to rinse this with some uh, sulfuric acid. Try to rinse as much as I can out of the beaker into the funnel. Sulfuric acid, don't you just love it? All right, you can see uh, it's pulling some foam through there. The material up here in the funnel, I think, is probably going to be copper sulfate mixed in with some silver sulfate. I have no idea in the world how to separate that. I'm not even going to worry about the solids. I'm going to concentrate on getting the silver out of the solution in the bottom of the flask. I think I'll do one more rinse here with some sulfuric acid. And just try to rinse as much of the silver bearing solution as I can out of the uh, material up here in the uh, funnel. All right, I've got just about all of the material out of our beaker now that I'm gonna be able to get. All right, I'm just getting a few puffs of foam out of here now. What I'm gonna do is get this funnel out of the way here. All right, here goes the uh, reaction. This has got free hydrochloric and water in it, plus excess sulfuric from the first uh, liquid that I poured in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to pour a little bit of this into our uh, beaker here, a little bit at a time and see what happens here. I should get some silver chloride forming. As I pour this in. It's got hydrochloric acid in this liquid. You can see there's some uh, precipitate forming in there. I think I'm going to add a little bit of free hydrochloric to this just to make sure that we convert the silver sulfate to silver chloride for the next step. All right, here we go. We're going to add some more of the uh, silver sulfate solution into our uh, beaker here that's a weird looking color it's kind of what I expect when I see uh, hydrochloric acid reacting with uh, silver sulfate and we're starting to get some heat now Right, this should be silver chloride that we have forming in our beaker here. I'm going to keep pouring this in little by little with some stirring. See if we can get this all to convert to silver chloride from the hydrochloric acid that we added in here. What I'm going to do is add just a touch more. I got about a half a liter in here that's got to go in this beaker, but I want to make sure I've got plenty of excess hydrochloric to complete the reaction to silver chloride. Add this slowly. I don't want it to start spattering on me. for a second. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to try to get the rest of this poured in here so we can move on. And I'm 
just going to add it slowly to cool this off and to dilute the solution down. Starting to clean up a little bit now since I'm diluting the solution. Boy, this is messy, man. I just I wish I would have just used nitric acid here. I'm going to add a little bit more hydrochloric acid. Just a touch. Make sure we've got all the silver out of here. And we do. If there had been silver in there, that would have formed more precipitate in that solution. So we've got all the silver precipitated out now. Now I'm going to pour the waste solution off into a waste treatment bucket. The uh, waste solution there will have no precious metals in it. And we'll treat that with some sodium hydroxide and dispose of it as waste. Next, what I'll do is add some water to the uh, clean silver chloride. And you can see it cleans up nicely, turns from a pale yellow to a nice bright white color. It's going to take many rinses to get all the acid rinsed off of the silver chloride. So I'll just keep rinsing it, adding those uh, rinses to the waste treatment bucket. And then uh, once we got it all cleaned up with water rinses, we'll go to the next step, which is uh, converting it to uh, pure silver with lion sugar. Here we go. Here's our... Uh pure silver chloride. I've rinsed it over and over with tap water and uh, we now have about five gallons of waste from doing all of that rinsing. But this is ready for a silver chloride conversion with lye and sugar. We're going to do that in part two of this two-part series. Okay, this will conclude part one of the silver wire conversion to pure silver metal video. Thanks for watching.